I'm going to talk you through our Smart Link Mapper feature on our Smart OTDR. Smart Link Mapper is a solution to simplify results interpretation. So even a novice user who's managing and working and using OTDR in the field can easily and quickly diagnose faults, characterize a fiber, and easily identify any issues that's on their network. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to use Smart Link Mapper. On our results screen, you have a ability to view your results as trace mode in traditional mode, but also in Smart Link Mapper mode. Smart Link Mapper provides several sections of information. The first section is an icon-based view of your link. The next section is your link table, and the third section is your LAM. In the icon-based view, we can see our sectional information, so the distances between events, and our cumulative distance along the bottom. So quickly and easily, we can see the distance between our splice and our bind in this instance, or the cumulative distance between our splice, our bind, or our vendor link. So being able to look at the distance to the event, and the distance the event is from a marker in your network. We have a quick summary table. So this gives us the lasers, total loss, total ORL, fiber length, and our average loss. And down the bottom here, it quickly and easily shows you the distance to your fault. So here, highlighted in red, we have a fault, which is a bad splice. Highlighted here in yellow, um, and with a red, red box around it is our bind, so it's detected a, a bind issue. We can diagnose that issue even further. If we go into a VIN view and look at our splice, we can tell you the reason why that splice failed. So in this instance, we can say the splice has failed because it exceeded a threshold of 0.2 dB. We can see here that there's a bin. So again, the event view on SmartLink Mapper provides an easy to read interpretation and diagnostics of the VIN. So guide you to what the problem is. It also gives you a distance and a loss uh, reading in the summary view of that event. Simply selecting it will bring you back to the traditional link view. You can change the event. So for example, if you had an event that was uh, detected as a splice, and in fact, um, it was a connector. So you can actually change the event view, go to event code, change that event to connector, and automatically that event will change on your table of events. So that can automatically and easily be done using the event code here. So I'm gonna select that and put it back to a splice. The other thing we can do is we can toggle between our trace view, again, highlighting any event, so highlighting the splice, and we can see where it is on our cursor. We can zoom on that event, and we can shift and move that event around to be able to look and diagnose, uh, diagnose it quickly and easily. This provides a very useful tool for training and educating novice users who would look at SmartLink map, see the event, but then be able to look at that directly on the trace and be able to correlate it to the trace information. Like all Viavi OTDRs, we have the ability to do a fast report. It gives you the uh, basic information if you want to change the parameters. And then you press Save All. It gives you um, the information as per the, way, the file name convention you set up. Enter, and my results are saved. So in a nutshell, that's Viavi SmartLink Mapper feature on the Smart OTDR. Thank you for watching. Find out more at Viacom's website.